These boys spent this day picking up the kitchen equipment that was donated to them by the Baltimore Sun so they could kickstart a business. What do you think about that? I think it's good, like it's, it's helping us get ready for a real job in life, a better job in life. We're calling him Hoops, which means hope in Dutch. He also loves basketball. I want to go to UCLA or Alabama. Now this boy is college bound, but a year ago he was a teen in trouble. I probably would have been still in jail right now, but she gave me a chance. What was the chance that she gave you? She gave me a chance to turn my life around. These kids are screwed. Two of these kids carjacked former Baltimore City Councilwoman Ricky Spector in December 2016. But instead of pursuing retribution, she's a part of their redemption. It was just a lack of something to do? Yes. If we had sports in the neighborhoods and stuff to do in the neighborhoods that's in a good route, you probably wouldn't even have a juvenile system. How big of an issue is juvenile crime in Baltimore City? I think juvenile crime right now is a huge issue. The Baltimore City State's Attorney's Office gave me numbers from the police department that show police arrested 2,379 juveniles in 2017. That's 243 more than the year before. That increase is not dramatic, but when you look at the number of juveniles arrested for murder and attempted murder, that number doubled from 13 to 26. Twice as many. You know, that's completely unacceptable. State's Attorney Marilyn Mosby believes a big part of the problem is this critical combination. Too many city kids live in abject poverty with no access to programs to divert them from danger. And when you add drugs to the mix, the situation becomes dire. We have an opioid crisis in this city right now where more young people are strung out on, on these prescription drugs. What is the city doing about this problem as regards juvenile crime? If you hurt people, you elect to kill somebody, you elect to rape somebody, you elect to carjack someone or a woman with a baby in their arms, I'm going to hold you accountable. Accountability means tough adult prosecution for young people who kill and rape victims. But juvenile justice for children who are thirsty for change would mean opportunities to keep them occupied so minutes of stupidity don't lead to a lifetime in prison. If you're not making that investment in these young people and you're not seeing them in classrooms, I'm going to see them in the courtrooms. Now I'm just thinking about getting a job, helping raise money for my mother to help out around the house. He has made an amazing transformation in the past year or so. And city leaders want you to think about him when you think about where you want to make donations to charities. Charities that run programs that can divert a young man like that away from crime and toward a career. Reporting live in downtown Baltimore, I'm Andre Hepkins, WBAL TV 11 News. Andre, thank you, and we hope Hoops makes it.